channel enthusiastic learner today we are going to discuss the second chapter of economics class 11 the indian economy 1950 to 1990 we all know that india won its independence on 15th august 1947 india was finally free of 200 years of British rule. But there were many challenges which had to be met by the country. First and foremost, the leaders had to decide what type of economic system should be followed by the country, the economic system which would be beneficial for all and not be for the benefit of few. There are three main types of economic system followed by different countries around the world. We are going to discuss about these systems one by one. Capitalist economy. In this type of economy, goods are produced which are in demand. That is, the goods which can be sold profitably in the domestic and foreign market. In a capitalist economy, goods produced are distributed among people not on the basis of what people need, but on the basis of what people can afford and are willing to pay. The second type of economy is the socialist economy. In socialist economy, the government decides what goods are to be produced in accordance with the need of the people. There is no provision for private property because everything is owned by the government. The former USSR and Eastern European countries followed socialist economy but after the disintegration of USSR in 1991 they have reverted back to democracy. The third type of economy is the mixed economy. In mixed economy, here both government and the market together decide what to produce, how to produce and how to distribute what is produced. In mixed economy, the market would provide the goods and services which can be produced well. And the government will provide the essential goods and services which the market fails to provide. After great contemplation, our leaders 
decided to follow the pattern of mixed economy. The industrial policy resolution of 1948 and the directive principles of the Indian constitution reflected the outlook of the mixed economy. In 1950, planning commission was set up with the objective of development of the country. The development was to be done through setting up five-year plans. To this day, we are following the five-year plans. The goals of five-year plans are growth, modernization, self-reliance, and equity. GDP, that is gross domestic production, is an indicator of development of the economy of the country. The graph shows the 10 biggest economies of the world. Thank you, friends. For watching my video if you like the video please do share comment and subscribe to my channel have a good day